Fame and fortune seemed like a really awesome thing, and for me, I wanted them badly for quite a while. Not anymore, though. Nice to meet you. My name's Trevor Hunt. I'm an Indiana singer, songwriter, and I make music for a living. I sing on the weekends. I have fun doing it. Today, I want to talk with you about the pros and the cons of being famous and maybe being fortunate with a slight focus on the cons. All right, so I'm an optimist. Let's jump right into the pros of being famous. First of all, people like you. You have a lot of people who really care about you and seem to want to see everything you're doing. Second of all, you make a lot of money. If you can monetize your brand and you're famous, you're making cash money off of that brand. The third thing, when you're famous, doors of opportunity open up for you. Nobody's contacting Trevor Hunt for a Nike sponsorship, but people are contacting Luke Bryan for sponsorships. You also don't have to work a nine to five job. A lot of people consider their job as a trap in their daily life. And if you're famous, ideally, at least the facade that we see is, they don't work. They just have fun and make a lot of money doing it. The last pro that I can think of, and I'm sure I've missed some, so if you've got some more pros, throw them in the comments down below. You feel a sense of importance. Whenever someone's famous, people make them feel more important. And I think a lot of times, people like myself, musicians such as myself, we desire fame at first because we think it might validate our talents or validate who we are as an artist, when really, I don't think that's the solution, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. Those are my pros, let's jump right into the cons. Okay, so just like with the pros, I'm gonna throw a little list on the screen for you so you can see them. Con number one, people like you a little too much. If you're super famous, you get stalkers. And although at first that could seem cool, after a while, I'm sure that seems awful. People who want to know every little detail about your life, your wife, your kids, where they go to school, how much you make, what you do, your political views. Sometimes it's better to have things that are private. And if people like you too much, they Google you too much. The second thing, people hate you a little too much. Every famous person has their fair share of haters, people who absolutely hate them for no reason. For example, Justin Bieber. In Indiana, I can find easily someone who hates Justin Bieber. Why? I don't know, but they're vehemently opposed to him. And the funny thing is, all he does is sings, like, get over it. It's just a dude singing. I never understood why people hated artists a ton, because I'm just like, if you don't like them, don't listen, don't complain. The third thing goes along with the first point. You don't have any privacy. People check in on you all the time, people taking pictures of you. You gotta hide when you go out in public. No more shopping at Walmart, because people are gonna come up to you and ask for a photograph. Or, did I just say photograph? Autograph. Photograph. Number four, it strains your relationships. Like, let's be honest, look at most famous people. How are their marriages doing? How are their families doing? Do they seem happy and fulfilled? Some of them get this balance right, and some don't. And so when I look at that, I think, man, is that something we really want? Because really want? at the end of life, you can have all the money in the world, but be the most miserable sap in the world. The next point that I want to make is that a lot of famous people find their self-worth from their fame and fortune. And that's not the right place. It's not the right place to find where your worth is. You are valuable because you are you. Listen to me, if you're an artist or someone who thinks, I wanna be famous one day, you are valuable right now as a nobody. You're, you don't need fame, you don't need fortune, you're valuable right now as a nobody. And this is something I had to learn because I felt like for the longest time I was an imposter. Like, how dare I make a YouTube video of me singing because I'm not really famous. How dare I go play at a restaurant because I'm not really famous. How dare I sell merch because I'm not famous. And the stupid thing is, everybody starts somewhere. I'm just starting out and I'm okay with that now because I've accepted me for me, who I am. And you need to do that as well. And if you're famous and you're watching this, you need to accept you for you, not for your fans. You are worth something without any fans at all. The last point is that you can lose your sense of identity and self. And what I mean by this, man, a lot of famous people, and I've read, and I, I don't have any off the top of my head, so I'm sure that maybe you'll have some examples, or maybe you'll refute this or disagree with me, uh, but a lot of famous people lose who they really are because they are doctored up, prettied up, and turned into a machine to make money by their producers, their managers, their labels, and I'm talking actors and singers. Anyone in the spectrum of fame can easily lose their sense of self because they start to have other people define who they are. They become the image the public wants to see instead of being who they really want to be. Hashtag, I just rhymed. <laughs> 
to wrap this bad boy up, what do you think? Do you think fame and fortune are a good thing or a bad thing? Or do you think it's just all on how you manage it? I, I can't say I lean one side or the other. I just, I have to look at the pros and cons. Personally, I would love a little bit more notoriety and a little bit more money, but I don't ever want that at the corruption of who I am as a person. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like it. This shows me that you want to see more vlogs just like this one, which is you look at my channel, there aren't any more vlogs. I only sing, so I'm really excited to be doing this. Also, subscribe to come back for more. Yeah, you know, just tell me what you thought. Um, I'm not doing this to become famous, obviously, because I'm talking about it. This is a struggle that I've dealt with. I wanted to share it with somebody. Maybe just my fans. Maybe just another singer out there. Like, you're worth something without having fans. You're worth something right now. So, guys, God bless. Have a great day. And as always, take it easy.